Ships sink all the time, which means there's a complete history of art, of tools, of weapons, of games, of musical instruments, all well preserved on the seabed. It will be the ultimate history of artifacts when we've excavated shipwrecks of every period of antiquity. George Bass is a rare scholar who has created an entirely new branch of scholarship. Acclaimed as the father of nautical archaeology, his first excavation, nearly 40 years ago, opened a new chapter in history. For the first half of the 20th century, virtually every scholar did not believe that the Phoenicians or the Semites had any role in maritime commerce in the Bronze Age. It was all in the hands of Greeks. Throughout his career, Bass devised many technological innovations that make underwater excavations safer and more controlled. The idea for a submersible came back in 1963 when a Bodrum sponge dragger pulled a classical bronze statue from the sea off the Turkish coast. And I thought, we cannot dive 300 feet deep, so let's uh, find a method to go down and see what's there. And that led to my idea of having a submersible built. Bass also devised a standard method of accurately mapping the seabed, as well as being the first team to locate an ancient shipwreck using sonar and introduce the routine breathing of pure oxygen during decompression. The great thrill of archaeology is not when you find something, but later in the library when you find out what it's about and how it changes history. <laughs>